My name is Ben Mann. I work here in IBM East Africa as the operations and strategy lead. I joined IBM originally as a programmer, uh, developing software solutions, and I've always really been a, a techie at heart. So whatever role I've done, I've always been interested in how to create new technologies and how to use those technologies uh, to transform the lives of clients and people in the world. I really enjoy spending time with entrepreneurs and startups and developers in the region. It's really inspiring to see uh, what they're doing to transform the region with technology. If I was asked about a technology area that I'm most passionate about, it would really be hard to choose because there's so many areas that uh, I find exciting and I find uh, that there's a huge amount of power in this region to use the technology to transform business. Um, but overall, it has to be cognitive technology uh, that I'm most uh, interested in and I think has the biggest potential for impact across the region. And when we talk about cognitive, we're really talking about uh, the difference between the kind of programs I wrote when I started out as a developer whatever applications I built could only really perform what I programmed them to do. But Cognitive is bringing in this whole new era of computing where applications are really trained, they learn, uh, and they can be trained by non-technical people that might have skills in a certain area like uh, medicine, for example. Uh, it might be someone that's responsible for selling. Uh, it could be someone in the HR department or in procurement that is able to train a system that can learn and then can support them in a whole new manner of ways. So Cognitive is really exciting because it brings non-technical people to computing and it, now it opens up a whole new set of use cases of how we can use analytics to process data to make smarter decisions, uh, not just the IT teams, but also the lines of business so that everybody in an organization is becoming more data-driven, is making smarter decisions based on the data that they have. Cognitive can be powered by data that might come from inside the organization, the so-called structured data that we're all very familiar with that's sitting in databases. But Cognitive, particularly in this region, is now being driven by data from social media um, and also from the world around us. So in terms of the use cases for Cognitive technology in Africa, uh, there are so many, it's, it's even hard to imagine uh, all of the things that we can do with cognitive technologies. But certainly in the region of, uh, in the area of healthcare, cognitive uh, offers a lot of promise. One example of that is oncology, um, where uh, oncologists dealing with cancer patients uh, struggle to keep up to speed with uh, all the skills that they need, uh, the cancer trials that might be running in their region, and the latest research. And so a cognitive system can really support that expert and extend uh, the skills that they have by keeping them up to date with the latest information. But particularly in the Africa region, uh, agricultural use cases are particularly interesting. How we can enable farmers to make smarter decisions, perhaps about what types of crops to, to grow at certain times. How to maximize the budgets that they have so that they can grow uh, the right crops and sell them at the right prices in the market. Because increasingly, consumers in this region are not just interested in getting quality products, but they wanna know where those products are coming from. And is it really stimulating and helping uh, farmers in, in the region as well? So with Cognitive, there are huge opportunities because uh, this type of analytics is so new that uh, many uh, people in the technical community around the world are trying to adapt and learn about how they can use these new tools and how they can apply them to real world problems. And that creates a wonderful opportunity for anyone in the technical field in East Africa to leapfrog uh, their peers around the world and keep up to speed uh, with uh, these new developments. Really, cognitive and data analytics is transforming into a, an area where it's no longer sufficient to have the technical skills around data. Uh, data mining, data warehousing, cleansing data, doing statistics, those kinds of traditional skills are now being replaced by a new breed of technologist, which many refer to as a data scientist. Uh, this is somebody who can uh, not just uh, resolve questions the business has about their data, but can even become a trusted advisor to the business and say to the business, actually, the question you've asked is an interesting one, but this is the question you should be asking. This is the kind of data that we should be using to get those new insights so that we can serve our clients better, so that we can deliver more value, so that we can be more competitive. 
And so this shift to becoming data scientists is really a great opportunity for anyone in the technical field in East Africa.